On this worksheet, we're going to draw the mechanism for the Fischer esterification reaction. This is a reaction where a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol to produce an ester. It's an acid catalyzed reaction, so the first thing that takes place in the reaction is the acid, which I'm just showing as H, protonating the oxygen of the carbonyl group. The acid that's used in this reaction could be any sort of strong acid. We could be writing this as H3O plus, or it could be H2SO4. Just to keep it simple, I'm just using H plus. So we end up with a protonated carboxylic acid, and we could draw a resonance structure for that if we wanted to, where we're delocalizing the electrons in that double bond, uh, and also delocalizing the positive charge, like that, down onto what used to be the carbonyl carbon. Um, from here, the uh, alcohol then reacts. So for this one, we're using ethanol as our alcohol. The lone pair of electrons on the oxygen atom are going to attack the carbonyl carbon. You could also show it just attacking straight from this structure. It's not really necessary to draw, draw out that resonance structure. And that will give us... This is what used to be the carboxylic acid. And here is the alcohol that has attacked it. Positive formal charge on the oxygen of the alcohol because it has three bonds. And we're going to, next we're going to deal with the positive charge on that oxygen atom. We could use another alcohol if we wanted. We could use water. We could use the conjugate base of our acid. And basically whatever we want that's capable of doing that deprotonation. Um, it's gonna give us this product right here. Now, after doing that, we have created a protonated alcohol in this case because I chose to use, I chose to use alcohol to do the deprotonation. Now I have a protonated alcohol, uh, and, which is acidic. And this protonated alcohol is going to, uh, the, uh, is going to protonate one of the OH groups in this reaction. I'm just gonna pick, um, I'm gonna pick this one right here. This protonated alcohol is acidic, and anytime you have oxygen atoms in the presence of an acid, those oxygen atoms are always going to start getting protonated by the acid. Now, we could have chosen to protonate this one up here. It would have made no difference structurally. We also could have chosen to protonate this oxygen atom, which would have taken us back to this structure right here. And we're just trying to move forward in this reaction. Now look at what we've made. We've made an amazing leaving group. So let's take a lone pair of electrons and move those electrons down and get rid of that leaving group. That will give us this. Um, and, and same kind of a thing, we could have chosen to take the lone pair of electrons from this oxygen and move them down. Um, and that would have like, it would have complicated things a little bit, but we would have we would have been able to figure it out. This is the this is the path that's going to get us to the product as quickly as possible in terms of the mechanism. All that we need to do now is deprotonate that oxygen. Let's go ahead and use the water leaving group to do the deprotonation for this last step. And that takes us to our ester right there.